Good morning, everybody. We are here with our friends from Community Coffee. This is Allison. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing just great. Great. Community Coffee is this wonderful organization started in 1919 and called Community Coffee because of the great things you all do for the community, great charitable efforts. Now, Allison and I were just talking, the best thing we could do for our community is have lots and lots of desserts, right? That's right. <laughs> Especially during the holiday season. We love it. <laughs> and a great idea for the holidays, it's not wine pairings all the time, but coffee pairings. That's right. Such a great idea. So we have some great examples set up here for you. Let's start with this because a lot of chocoholics in my family. What's the best coffee pairing for chocolate? That's a great question. The best coffee pairing for a chocolate product is our dark roast. Um, you want to have a premium dark roast. The darker your dessert, the darker the coffee you should be drinking. It's really going to bring out the robust flavor of the coffee as well as the chocolate. That's a great tip because I would think it's the opposite. You want lighter. So the right. darker or maybe you know more rich the dessert, the darker the coffee correct. as well. That is Perfect. Correct. I love it. And it's a great excuse to eat more and more, more and more. More more chocolate too. <laughs> <laughs> Something I wouldn't call it lighter because it's cheesecake, which is very heavy, but maybe a lighter color, lighter flavor. Mm -hmm. What's a good coffee to pair with that? A good coffee for a uh, either a fruit-based or a creamy-based dessert is going to be our cafe special, which is a medium dark roast. It's full-bodied, but it's yet light enough that it, it pairs very well with the flavor of the cheesecake. I love that. And I also love the idea of something super, super sweet, and then maybe you don't add the sugar to the coffee, and it just That's kind of balances right. it out. That's absolutely correct. I love it. See, I'm learning. <laughs> and last but not least, after Christmas or you know the holidays in the evening in the morning the sugar must continue. That is very true. If you're having family over for a brunch or a breakfast, you want to be able to pair really whatever your special Christmas morning dishes with the coffee. A medium dark roast with, with a fruit scone or with a cinnamon scone is excellent as well. And during the holiday season we actually have our holiday jazz which is a medium dark roast that we have right here. I love that and I saw that with this cute little packaging right here, a great gift idea but for the ultimate gift, dun -da -da -da, <laughs> you have these amazing gift baskets. Tell us we about do. the range you have. We have everything from a little tiny stocking stuffer that you can um, get for your friends and family all the way up to this is our Christmas morning gift basket. And I'm just going to put a little tag right here It says to Christine from <laughs> Santa. I would love this. And the best part for everybody is you can get gift baskets like this at communitycoffee.com. Mm -hmm. Allison, thank you so much. Thank you very much for having us today.